Cheese, eggs, pancetta, and pasta baked into a pie. What more could you ask for? Come on, get a good fist roll. <sighs> Welcome to the Smitten Kitchen. The first thing you need to do is butter a nine inch springform pan. Do not wait until you cook it to find out whether your spring form leaks. My rule is wrap the outside tightly in foil, regardless of whether you bought something that swears that it never leaks, just to wrap it. Because you wanna cook this once, not twice. You don't wanna be cooking this and for it to end up all over your oven floor and now you have an oven to clean and you're still ordering pizza for dinner. We are going to slice up the pancetta and I'm gonna dice it up. You know, you can get it at a lot of grocery stores. If you're really lucky, you can get a really beautiful piece like this with a beautiful marbling to it, you know? And if you have a choice, like I always look for one that has a good amount of pink in it so it's not just all fat. I wanna have little bites that we can bite into. They're gonna shrink up a bit in the pan, but um, you know, it's nice to have like real little chunks because it's nice and salty and adds a lot of flavor. I love the nutty classic flavor of the Parmesan, and I love the salty, sharp funkiness of the Pecorino, so I use half of each, but you can use all of one or all of the other if that's all you have. Get a large pot of boiling water going and salt it really well, really well. This is a good way to add seasoning, so don't skimp on it. And then we're gonna throw in a little bit of greens because I'm that kind of person that likes to ruin everything with green vegetables. It feels much more like a finished dish to me and it really makes the whole thing a lot prettier seeing these green flecks go throughout. Now we can start our pasta, just use the same water. It's a little green, it's not gonna hurt anyone. While the pasta cooks, we can chop our greens. I use the towel and I really squeeze the extra water out. This is important because you don't want your finished dish to be mushy. We're gonna chop these greens really well because you want it to intersperse and mix well with the spaghetti. The pasta is just right and we're gonna drain it. I want you to start a good two minutes shy of al dente. If your box of pasta says eight minutes al dente, go ahead and check it at six because we want it to have a little, I always think of it like a bone in it. Now it's time to make our custard. We're gonna use two eggs plus two whole yolks because an essential part of carbonara is the very yellow sauce that you get from the richness of the yolks. Add your milk and lots and lots and lots of pepper. I'm gonna try not to sneeze, but pepper always makes me sneeze. A little more salt and then add your grated cheese. This is the mixture of Parmesan and Pecorino, and we're gonna use it all except for half a cup, which I'm gonna save for the end. Finally, we're gonna add our drained spaghetti, all of the greens we cooked, all of the crispy pancetta, and we're gonna toss this together with all of the pasta until it's nicely coated with the custard and the cheese and the pancetta and the greens, and it's all really well intermixed. Look how nice that looks. Now we're gonna put the spaghetti mixture into our buttered spring form pan. If I have a couple minutes to kill, I like to swirl it around, sort of play with my food a little bit. It doesn't change the taste at all, but it looks a little prettier when you slice into it later. The good news is that even if you don't do this, it's gonna come out really pretty. Don't fuss if your broccoli or pancetta has fallen to the bottom of the bowl, it all gets mixed again. We're gonna finish this with that last half cup of cheese that we put aside, and we're gonna sprinkle it over the top. And then it goes into the oven. Bake at 425 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes, then remove it from the spring form and serve. Look how beautiful this is. I love how bronzed and gorgeous it comes out of the oven when it looks so simple going in. I think we're gonna be eating a lot of this this winter.